Hey, welcome to this video. If you arrived here, you're probably searching for a review of fan page robot. So go over how it works and give you my two cents whether I think it's a good use of your time. I'm always coming up with videos like this, so consider subscribing. And if you like my free training on the number one simplest, fastest way to earn a full time income from home, you can click the link below. You'll see my email opt in page. And on your best email, I could send you my free training if you want. So, um, a fan page robot, let's dive in. So, what it is basically, it's a cloud based software that allows you to post to various social media channels like Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all in one place. So, and it allows you to also schedule your posts in advance, uh, find hashtags, because a lot of these platforms are based on hashtags, right? That's kind of like keywords. And it also allows you to curate content, you know, images and videos, that content that's trending. So other people's content, pulling that and using it as your own and, and then posting that content. Um, so, one thing I like about the sales page is they don't make any crazy income claims. I don't think they make any income claims, actually. They just say what it can do. So I do like that. They're and they're not saying, you know, you're going to make become a millionaire with this. They're just saying um, it'll allow you to get more traffic and eyeballs, potentially, and more engagement and leads um, while saving you time. And then you can invest that time into other things like... Um, you know, like money generating activities like conversion and customer service and that sort of thing. Now, who is this software for? It's for anyone who has something to sell online. Maybe you're an affiliate, maybe you have your own course, you're an e-commerce, you're a social media manager, really anyone. Now, when I review a product, I like to go through the sales page and see whether they deliver on what they promise. And um, so they talk about generating viral content with one click. I can tell you that's not possible. To go viral is actually quite a difficult thing. And I don't think they're saying you will go viral. I think it means you're pulling viral content from other people's um, social media accounts. So I think that's what that means. Generate the best hashtags to your post discovered. Because yeah, again, again, these are all these platforms are based on hashtags. Um, um, and I'm, But I'm actually not sure hashtags play that important of a role these days. I know these platforms like Twitter and Instagram, they're quite clever and they tend to, I don't think hashtags, hashtags is only part of it. It's also actually creating good content that people want to watch so that they'll stay around longer and then that'll boost your, that'll get you more exposure. So hashtags, while they are still, or you still have to understand them, they don't play as a critical a role as they used to. Sales and leads, um, you're not guaranteed sales by any means just because you have an audience. You still need to learn marketing. Um, so discover influencers and competitors in your niche. That's pretty cool because it's, you know, it's not so much about also always about being creative or reinventing the wheel. Sometimes success is just based on modeling what's already working for other people. I attribute a lot of my success to, to doing exactly that. And there's nothing wrong with modeling as long as you don't copy other people. I think that's not the most ethical thing. And it's also not great for conversions because you always want to look unique. So, so you can model other people's content and then kind of tweak it, make it your own, give your own spin on it. And, um, and then juicy SEO backlinks. So this is for if you have a blog. I'd be very careful with backlinks. There are some good quality backlinks and there are some very bad quality backlinks that will actually hurt your um, website in the long term. So be careful. And... Um, And now what else do they have? So, so free advertising and lead generation this is pretty cool because um, most advertising is quite expensive, whether you go on Google ads or Facebook ads. So this is interesting. Not exactly sure how that works, but, but yeah. So I wouldn't expect a lot of free advertising because there's really no such thing, but automated video marketing to increase your engagement. So this is, you can use other people's videos and upload them as your own. Um, I'd be careful with that. I'm, I'm not sure the laws on that and, and also the ethics. Um, now video marketing, if you can, if you, if, if I was to choose one skill to get good at, it would be video. So you really want to focus on getting good at video. It's the highest converting medium. It converts better than text, than, you know, images than audio. So you want to become an expert at video. And when I say expert, I mean, you know, just get, just get, uh, you know, decent at it. So yeah, yeah, you don't, you know, a lot of people have this idea about online marketing that you can hide behind your computer. And that's not, the tr that's just not the case. Even if you're selling other people's products, you do have to put yourself out there a little bit. And video is the best way to connect with uh, people and make sales and, and, you know, get lots of exposure. So 
what else? So, and I know a lot of these um, social media platforms nowadays tend to favor video. It's not just YouTube anymore. It's, you know, Twitter, uh, uh, you know, Twitter, uh, TikTok, uh, Facebook Reels. There are these short form videos. A lot of the social media platforms now do short form videos. They last like 15 seconds and those can get a lot of exposure. So, and uh, now there are different memberships you can get into free, which is pretty amazing. Um, you probably can just stick with the free plan if you're just one person, you're a solopreneur. Um, I don't know why you would need multiple Facebook fan pages and multiple social media pages, but um, that's something to look into. But still, it's very cheap to upgrade. I mean, I would probably maybe maybe I'd get the pro. I don't think you necessarily need the unlimited unless you're an agency or something. So, but very cheap. I mean, if you can't afford nine to fifteen dollars a month, then you shouldn't you have no business being in business. That's just the truth. All in all, this is a perfectly good software. I like that it's free, so you wouldn't be risking anything except your time. Um, and um, now just understand no software, no matter how good it is, is going to build your business for you. You still need a product to sell. You still need to learn how to get traffic uh, or eyeballs, visitors, leads. And you need to know how to um, you know, market your services in a very um, nice way so that people get to know, like, and trust you and they feel comfortable transacting with you. It's called a sales funnel in online marketing. A sales funnel is just, you know, it's a process you take people through, kind of take them from being window shoppers to converting them to buyers. And so you do need to, you need to build a sales funnel and you actually need to build it yourself. You don't want to use someone else's sales funnel. But um, it's an interesting software. I might use this if I was, if you're quite advanced already and you just want to, you know, leverage your time and and you know you know save some time this might be something to check out but as a beginner who doesn't really understand how to market online or doesn't have anything to sell i don't think a software like this would do you much good so it just depends who you are um, but look maybe you're here um, um and also another thing i should mention i find especially with beginners the best thing is to do to, is, is when it comes to content creation is to do things manually so create your own content um, I, I don't really recommend relying on software, again, unless you're already quite advanced and you know what you're doing. Now, if you're too busy to create your own content, which you know shouldn't be an excuse, even if you only have one or two hours a day, but let's say you're too busy, uh, you can also hire someone on a place from a place like Fiverr or Upwork to build a social media channel for you. So at least it's a real person. You're not just pushing a button and hoping software is going to work its magic because it never works out that way. And so this is something you might want to check out. And then you would build out, have someone build out a channel for you and get them to lead people to your sales funnel. I hope that makes sense. Now, if you'd like to learn how to, how to do all this, how to build out a very profitable online business, selling other people's products, what I recommend doing is click the link below. You'll see my email opt-in page. Enter your best email. I could send you by free training if you want. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed this review. I hope to see you on the other side and I hope you have a great day. Bye.